Former national goalkeeper Jörg Stiel is equipped with gloves featuring measuring devices, a cap with sensors and 3D spectacles. And it's do you really think I'll be able to catch balls like this? Oh yes, this is a world first. In this virtual goal, developed by the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, Stiel is about to fend off penalty shots from 11 meters. All of his movements will be recorded. Here's what's going to happen. Benjamin Huggel from FC Basel will appear on the screen and kick balls towards the goal. It feels strange. Sometimes you think you've got the ball, but it still ends up in the goal. The aim of this test is to find out to what extent the goalkeeper is deceived by the shooter and at what moment he decides to move into one corner. The yellow line shows the shooter's run-up, the point where he hits the ball and the ball's trajectory. The blue bar shows the movement of the goalkeeper. In the first example, he reacted at the right time and managed to catch the ball. Here, however, he moved too late and the ball ended up in the goal. Ten people worked for eight months to create the virtual goal. Benny Hügel was filmed in real life and so were the fans, whom the graphic artists put into a virtual model of the Zurich Letzigrund Stadium. In a second test, Stiel's body is wired up. Now the researchers want to measure a penalty's influence on one's pulse and adrenaline. Could virtual goals replace proper field training in the future? I prefer having physical contact with a real ball. I like to feel when I manage to change the ball's direction or when it hits the post. I'd rather experience some pain when a ball hits me. So I know I'm actually doing something. This training device is more likely to provide real pain. The machine named Bendit, also developed by the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, allows precise programming of speed, direction and spin. Two rapidly rotating belts transport the ball to the front of the machine and launch it into the air. We can also make the ball spin by rotating the belts at different speeds. This way we can direct the ball right into the goal's corners. What does the pro think about this one? This machine makes sense. You don't know where the balls are heading. They fly with such accuracy and speed that you have to give your very best. I believe this would make a valuable training aid. At present, Bendit is still a unique prototype. Should it go into mass production, it could be sold for between 10,000 and 20,000 francs, a price that a third league club could afford.